I just want to talk about Vlad just for a second. And I'm curious sure. where you stand on him right now. It's It's been two seasons since we've seen anything close to 2021 Vlad. And, and even what we would call bad Vlad is still a very good major league player. But he hasn't quite gotten back to uh, that 2021 level. Was that season, that 2021 an aberration? Do you think there is still a chance he can get back there? Are we looking for obviously something better than he is now, but not quite 2021 again? Um, you know, it's unreasonable to expect him to be 2021 Vlad every year. Obviously, that was an MVP caliber season if Shohei Otani doesn't exist. But just sort of, you know, as as they get closer to having to make a final call on him and, and making this, you know, franchise altering commitment with a, a, the contract that he's going to demand, I'm just sort of curious what you've seen of him and and where that would lead you to want to go with him next yeah i think it's really tough i think you kind of uh you kind of just have to play it out year to year you know i think he's a guy who if he hit the free agent market like if he was on the free agent market right now probably maybe probably looking for a pillow contract you know because there's there's more money out there than what he would probably but he would also be getting an, an enormous contract i think somebody would put a ton of money in front of him because you know even though yes it was it was a poor year the war numbers were dragged down by the first base defense which that's an issue that needs to be addressed i think as yeah, well. that was wild uh, <laughs> did not care for that yeah that really sunk a lot of his value but it's but and it, it's just it's yeah it's so tough to tell um you know, 2021, I know people are like, oh, played in minor league parks. Minor league parks are the same dimensions. Like, what? Is, what this is insane. Yeah. The, 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 the balls don't fly. And you do, they weren't playing at altitude. But what there was, to, what was different was that uh, that at one point they 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 didn't really they didn't really play in Toronto that season, right? That was the year. Yeah, right? is that right? Yep. Yeah. Well, they came uh, home in August. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And uh, and then they had the 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 humidor. Uh, came into mm. place, uh, I think, in 2019. So they hadn't really. Pl- I think it was like the back half of 2019. And there's some quotes that you saw from that time. And I've looked at these a couple of times. You know, Kevin Beasley talking about the ball just doesn't fly the same uh, once the humidor came in. And maybe that was all of 2019, which was you know not, still not a bad offensive team. But I wonder what that has, what effect that has had on the because especially you look at the home road splits this year. You know, not just Vlad, but like Vlad was like like top five first baseman for home runs on the road. But uh, but is is not you know just not in with his peer group when you add the home numbers into it. So uh, I mean that's a problem that's not going to go away. So I you know I don't know yeah. <laughs> I don't know what my point necessarily is on that. <laughs> but but like some of the power outage may have been not not the minor league parks, but maybe the parks without a humidor. Um, hmm. Because the road numbers are still pretty good. Yeah, like yeah. the road numbers, his road numbers looked like they, you know, he looked like 2022 Vlad, which is, which we thought at the time was him bottoming out. Right. Which, you know, <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think you gotta, you gotta go year to year with him. You have to, uh, I don't think you could extend it. I don't think you could agree on a value. Like I'm sure he values his himself much more highly than, than the club would right now. Like right. they're not giving him $300 million right now. That would be crazy. But I think he knows like he's going to hit free agency at 27 and uh, there's going to be a, a huge market for his services, be it for one year and to try to rebuild, rebuild value and do it. Maybe he'll have to do it that way a couple of years, but he's basically sort of in that situation now with the Jays, right? Like if he has a huge year, then we, we could talk about that kind of contract, you know, at this point a year from now, or maybe in the middle of the season if things look right. But, uh, but yeah, I don't think that there's really anything you can do but just continue to go forward with him uh, and hope that it turns around. And I think that you know, there's lots of reasons to believe that it will. You know, all of the all the underlying stuff, all the, it still hits the ball incredibly hard. It's still really hard to strike out. Uh, it, it feels like it's close, but it's also you know, all right, it's been like 1,200 plate appearances of it feeling <laughs> like it's close. <laughs> 